Thank you all for joining us on this unbelievably difficult Monday morning. It's understandably a very somber time for all of us here, and we hope that you will bear with us as we come to grips with what has happened. Our, be our beloved host, Bruce Clark, has left an irreplaceable void, and it's unfathomable for me to sit in the chair that he sat in for nearly 30 years. The unenviable part of being a newscaster and on-air personality is to remain professional and to not get emotional when having to discuss heart-wrenching stories and of course it's especially difficult when it hits home. So I will certainly try to adhere to that policy. Bruce has touched thousands of lives in his time here on Earth and Chad, Chris and I are just three of those people who were blessed enough to spend a fair amount of time with him. Many viewers who perhaps did not know Bruce in real life felt like they knew him because he had that incredible uncanny ability to make everyone feel like they were a friend. And people woke up to his face every morning and it's something that they were used to. And. Um, before we show you a clip that Chris put together, it was a very uh, heart-wrenching task for him to do. I would like to say a few words about Bruce, and of course, I'm, I'm looking down at papers here, and I'm looking at a teleprompter, but honestly, it's, it's not working. Go figure. It would happen today, but I, I really don't need to. So, Bruce, where do I begin? Uh, you were a walking encyclopedia. You taught me so many things about everything. You knew everything about the area, about hidden little gems, and you were always teaching us something. And you were certainly opinionated, but you always encouraged debate, and that's something I truly admired about you. You never backed down from anyone, and you remained steadfast in your beliefs, and that says a lot about a person. We developed a, an incredible rapport here in the morning show, and you constantly strive to make things better and you pushed us and sometimes you pushed us really really hard but you brought out the best in us in all of us and, and I'm, I'm really mean that I'm speaking on behalf of the three of us uh, for the longest time you didn't think that I was going to stay here in Laughlin and well you were right at the beginning I really didn't know what it was about TV2 that caused me to stay in a place that was so far from home and so far from everything that I had known and the cause of many sleepless nights. But um, it's funny, you used to say, I, I want you to put down roots. And just when you said that, a, a song came out that was uh, very popular on the airwaves and was called No Roots. And one day, jokingly, I sent it to him and uh, he appreciated my sarcasm needless to say, but um, I did stick around and I grew as a person and I made tremendous friends here and, and that's what I'm getting at. Bruce, you were not only my boss, you became my friend. Actually, you became family and you listened to my stories and you told me yours and you always looked out for us. You, you would get worried if I was running a few minutes late, you would call me and inevitably my phone, my mailbox would be full and of course that would irk you a little bit, but you always checked in, you always checked up on me and I appreciate that very much. And um, most of all, I appreciate the faith that you had in me. And just before you went on your, your boy's ride, you said something to me that I will cherish forever and that is that you were entrusting hosting duties of the show to me. And it, in years past, you had pre-recorded the shows uh, for when you were on vacation, but you felt that I was able, with, of course, the guy's help, to carry the show. And you, you entrusted me with that. And again, that's something that I will always remember. So uh, the, the thing is, 
I'm looking at your empty seat there, and Bruce Clark, you were the voice of the tri-state, you were the face of TV2, and that seat is has shoes that are irreplaceable. So with that said, Godspeed, my friend, and Lynn, my heart goes out to you. All of Bruce's family, friends, and fans, my deepest sympathies are with you as well. And Chad, I know that Bruce has been a major part of your life for a long time, so I'll defer to you. <sighs> wow. Bruce has been a part of my life for almost 10 years now. Um, I remember I was about 24 when I first started for the TV station and um, wasn't the position I applied for, but it was a position nonetheless and I, I accepted it. And not only has he been a part of my life, but Bruce has been a part of many lives and in many homes more than he could ever know. People from all over ate breakfast, had coffee, or just hung out with Bruce every morning. He was a part of their daily lives. The impact he ha has had is widespread. There was a time, there was a time when I was younger and somebody approached me while I was out at, at one of the stores. Um, it was a younger guy who came up to me and he said that he came up to me because he recognized me. He told me how his grandfather that had passed away recently watched, loved to watch Bruce's show every morning. His grandfather had Alzheimer's and couldn't remember that he was no longer working and was retired, but he could remember to watch the morning show every morning. And to me, that, that just speaks in volume about the impact that Bruce has had on so many different lives all over the area. I was fortunate enough to work closely with him, like I said, for almost 10 years. Um, he was my mentor, and I learned a lot from him. I learned about work, professionalism, and I learned about life. I will miss him quite a bit, and I, I know that everyone out there will miss him just as much. Um, he had an impact on my life, but on the lives of people from the tri-state and all over the world. And um, Chris, I know that this has been especially hard for all of us, and I, I, I know we're going to get to um, a tribute video that you put together, but before we do that, would you like to say something? I might break down right now, but that's it. I know. Okay, no. let's just go into your video then. Well, wait. <laughs> yeah. Man, I want to thank you, Bruce, for everything you did for me. <laughs> and uh, where, I'm, where I'm at today, and I, I don't want to be on camera crying, but I, I know you guys. I want to thank everybody that watches and, and thank Bruce for everything he did for me. And, and after high school, um, after I graduated high school, if it wasn't for Bruce, give me the opportunity to be a part of this amazing family with Tara, Chad, and Bruce, and Lynn. It, it's been the greatest experience. and. Like Tara said, we're going to continue this and continue Bruce's legacy so nothing will change. And it, <laughs> it just thank you, Bruce, and I really appreciate it. Okay, if um, you want to go into that video. We're ready. I seen you on TV too. Hey, Bruce Clark told me to tell you hi. Everywhere I go, I go into the to the grocery store. People watch. People and people listen to Bruce Clark. It's funny. They, hey, Bruce told me hi. It's almost like that when somebody's watching TV too, they believe that Bruce Clark is specifically talking to them, and it's an awesome relationship that he has with his viewers because they all come in, they listen to Bruce, they come in, they say hi, they they have their little checklist of different businesses that they're going to go down, and they heard it on TV too. You know, I've worked with uh, Channel 2, Laughlin, uh, and with Bruce for 
many, many years. They've brought us a lot of business. They do a wonderful job. And um, I love doing shows with them because they're real, true, down-to-earth, unedited shows. Uh, when we moved here in 1998 permanently, my wife and I, to this date, continue to have our morning coffee with Bruce Clark, staff, and TV2. It's enlightening, and I know that a lot of people do watch TV2 in the mornings because I hear it and I, from these residents that tell me, saw you on TV this morning. I have a degree in broadcast journalism, and after I graduated from Arizona State University, I was looking for a entry-level reporting job, and there was an opening at TV2. And the thing that attracted me most to the thing that attracted me most to TV2 was the community. It's a great community. I think the role of TV2 is to better serve and inform the community. I cannot go to the grocery store, and I worked at TV2 10 years ago, without somebody coming up to me and saying, oh, I loved you on TV2, I saw you on TV2, thank you so much for you know, giving us the information when I used to watch you on the news at TV2. So there are so many people who love and watch and the, the morning show and the news and turn to TV2 to be informed about their community. Sheila, could I, Please. can I have the weekend off? So, yeah, you can have the weekend off. Looks like we're in. Oh, oh we're in. We're so, in. I don't know what to tell you. It looks like I'm going to Mexico, so, uh, oh. <laughs> Good morning and welcome to the morning show. Very happy to have you with us on this fine Tuesday. Don't go anywhere. We're going to open up the phone lines here this morning. Well, you, your host. You bet it is. You, you bet it is. Good morning and welcome to the morning show. Very happy to have you with us this fine weekend. River. Go ahead, bring me in like that. <laughs> and welcome to uh, welcome to the morning show for a Wednesday morning. Very happy to have you with us today. We have the All Star Kazoo Band on hand today. The TV Two Morning Show All Star Kazoo Band. <laughs> and good morning and welcome to the morning show on this Veterans Day. Coming up, <laughs> I was all ready for this. I really was. Coming up next on the morning show. Coming up next on the morning show. Coming up next. Coming up next on the morning show. Coming up next on the morning show. The morning show.
Let's go out and do something right today, what do you say?